After splitting the first two games against San Francisco, find out if the Titan baseball team could clinch the series in the rubber match. Plus, Titan softball hosted the Judy Garman Classic over the weekend. Find out how they did. And the Titans went head-to-head -head against Hawaii in a battle for second place in the Big West. All this and more on this week's edition of Titan Sports. What's up, Titans? Welcome back to another episode of Titan Sports. I'm Eric Valenciano. And I'm Kimberly Cruz. The Titans would host the University of San Francisco for a three-game series. After spilling the first two games, they would both look to take the series on Sunday afternoon. The rain held off long enough for a rubber match at Goodwin Field as Cal State Fullerton hosts the University of San Francisco. Joe McGrissey would take the bump for the Titans, but pitching would not be the story of this game as the game would be tied early 1-1. Freshman Miguel Ortiz would send this ball deep to left field for a solo shot to give the Titans a 2-1 lead. But the Dons would tie it up in the seventh as Matthew Mendeboltz loops this ball into right field to tie it up at two. Later in the inning, the Dons would get some insurance runs as pitch hitter Jacob Westerman goes opposite field over the right field wall to give the Dons the three-run lead. The Dons would add one more in the seventh, but then Josh Earp says, anything you can do, I can do better, as he turns on this ball for a three-run home run of his own. We have a game in Fullerton. Now to the ninth with the Titans down two. Kyle Luckham would hit a sack fly to center, scoring a run, but that would be all for the Titans as USF takes the game and the series. Striking out, striking out. If you've been to a game, we struck out only 10 times today. So they only had to play six innings of defense. We're not making teams play defense. We strike out 10, five, or 15, 16. We've got to hit the ball. They've got to figure it out. In this series, game one and two starters, Tyner Bybee and Kyle Luckham would have great starts, lowering their ERA to under two. The Titans softball team hosted the Judy Garman Classic on Sunday. The wind was blowing out in Fullerton. Titans faced number two Washington in the third game of the Judy Garman Classic. Sophie Frost took the mound for the Titans. She faced off against Kelly Lynch for the Washington Huskies. First hitter of the game, Sammy Reynolds at the plate, and she lines it to left field. Irie Sue goes airborne. She lays out to make a tremendous grab, giving the Titans momentum into the bottom half of the inning. Zoe Richard at the plate. Here's the pitch. She turns on a fastball and sends it way over the right field fence, giving the Titans a early 2-0 lead. But the Huskies would storm back. Kelly Lynch does it with her arm and her bat. She launches a three-run home run over the left field fence, giving Washington the lead 3-2. Brooke Nelson took over in the second inning, and she shuts down the Titans. Score remains 3-2 Washington. Same score, six inning. Sis Bates at the plate and she hits a liner to right field, scoring in another run. Washington never looked back. They tack on three more runs in the six and won the ball game seven to two. The women's basketball team was looking to make Leap Day a memorable one. Let's head over to Titan Gym to check out the action. Cal State Fullerton taking on Hawaii in a battle for second in the Big West. Seconds into the fourth quarter, Score tight at 44, Jalisa Trawa hits the jump shot to give Hawaii the two-point lead. Under seven minutes remaining, Tynes up four. Reina Perez misses the shot, but Megan Needle gets the rebound. Needle passes it over to Taylor Turney, who scores the layup. Fullerton ahead, 56 to 50. A minute later, Fullerton up four, but looking for more, Turney finds Amy Brooke in the paint for the layup. Titans lead 58 to 52. With four and a half to go in Fullerton up by eight, Turner drives inside, lays it up in, and the Titans go on to win 70 to 64. For more on Titans basketball, let's send it over to Elizabeth Williams and Corey Johnson for this week's edition of Inside the Basket. Thank you guys. And in honor of Women's Month, we're switching things up here in Inside the Basket. I'm your host, Corey Johnson. With me, my analyst, Elizabeth Williams. Thank you for joining me. Hey, hey. <laughs> and this time, we're 
going to be giving you guys a rundown of the women's basketball team. How do you think the Titans did against Hawaii? It was a great team effort. Amy Book and Taylor Turney scored a combined 45 points this game, while their lead scorer, Rainer Perez, fell short with just 13 points. Um, the team defense held off in the fourth quarter to get that victory. Fullerton is currently tied with Hawaii for second place in the Big West Conference with a record of 8-6. and six. Liz, what, do you th what have you been seeing from this team throughout this season and what do you think they need to do going forward? Although they were not picked uh, to finish this high, this high in the conference, in fact, they were predicted to place last. So they've pulled together as a team and shown that they can play. They can compete with top perform performing teams. So they got a little energy going on. Uh, beating Hawaii marked their 16th win this season. This is their. This will ensure their first winning season in 30 years. Pause. 30 years. <laughs> Oh, that is man. something to say, something to be proud of. Yeah. They are working hard. That's I'll tell you that. Right that's old. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Well, that's big time stuff from the Lady Titans. With two games remaining, though, on the regular season. Um, what do you expect from them, and where do you expect them to finish? So on Wednesday, they're on the road playing their arch rival, Long Beach State. I believe that they will win, considering the last time they played, they beat them at Titan Gym, only by four points. So it will be a close game, but it will definitely, I definitely think it will be a victory. UCI, they're playing here Saturday night, Women's Empowerment Night, big deal going on. Um, UCI is three for nine with away games. So I do think that the Titans will get that victory. As far as rankings, UC Davis, they got the top seat. <laughs> Their record is 11-3, and three, so at this point, no one's catching them. Nobody. Not at this point, I'll tell you that. But I believe that they will finish in second place, which is great because they'll automatically get into the semifinals. And that's huge because that means going into the Big West tournament, they'll have two bye weeks. So they have time to, you know, relax, adjust, and then play hard. 100%. Couldn't agree with you more, Liz. That's going to wrap things up here at Titan Gym. This has been this edition of Inside the Basket. I'm your host, Corey Johnson, with Elizabeth Williams. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. Leap day was great for the women's team. Not so much for the men's. Fullerton dropped their third straight Saturday, losing to CSU Northridge 99-92. Jackson Rose scored a double-double on 18 points and 11 rebounds, but it wasn't enough to get the Titans back in the win column. The Matadors closed out the first half on a 20-8 run, and they never looked back. The loss puts the Titans in a bad spot going into their final two games. Wins get them into the Big West Tournament, but with losses, they can miss it altogether. Now let's throw it over to Jose Flores to update us on this week's Titan Timeline. Thank you, Kimberly. How's it going, Titans? I'm Jose Flores, and we have a lot going on in sports this week, so here is your Titan Timeline. Let's tee it off with men's golf, who are, at, who are at Elk Grove Tuesday and will remain there Wednesday as they compete in the Sacramento State Invitational. Tennis will be at Long Beach State on Friday, hoping to improve their 1-2 away record. Also on Friday, the outdoor track and field team will be participating in the RCC Invitational at Riverside. Next up, our men's basketball team, like Eric, Eric mentioned, is fighting to make it to the tournament as they play at UC Santa Barbara on Thursday and host Long Beach State on Saturday in the final two games of their regular season. On the other hand, the women's team will try to clinch the number two seed this week at Long Beach State on Wednesday and against UC Irvine here on Saturday. Finally, we go out to the diamond. Baseball will finish their 10-game homestand with a two-game series against Arizona State on Tuesday and Wednesday. The baseball team will then travel to Texas to take them on in a three-game series starting Friday and ending Saturday. Softball, they'll be participating in the Louisville Slugger Invitational and plays Michigan on Thursday in L.A. The next three games will be played in Long Beach and include a doubleheader on Friday against Minnesota and San Diego State. They then play Central Florida in their final game on Saturday. That is everything. So that will conclude this week's edition of Tiny Timeline. I'm Jose Flores sending it back to Eric and Kimberly at the desk.
That's all we've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. You can watch all of our past episodes and game highlight packages on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at CSUF Titan Sports, and don't forget to like our Facebook page. On behalf of all of us here at Titan Sports, I'm Kimberly Cruz. And I'm Eric Valenciano. Remember to keep those tusks up. We'll see you next week.